Good morning, YouTube. I'm in Vandalia Union, Butler Township area. I just made a video showing where my uncle's house is up in the right here. This is where the area where the Proctor, this is where Proctor and Gamble is located at. This place is just absolutely massive. I wanted to show what this place was like from the exterior on the outside of it. It's just absolutely massive. There was my uncle's, where my uncle's house was at in the previous video. Another view from the road, so man, only, yeah, that's not even 300 yards. And this right here, just kind of go on the left hand lane. We're not turning into the plant, but we'll just kind of pass by it this way. Am just to, no, no, here? no. Yeah, this is the plant right here. This place is employing several hundred people, maybe thousand people now. It's been here for about two to three, four, four years. It's a pretty nice area right here. Hopefully it'd be nice if they were to ever consider, you know, building the fairgrounds in this area. I said to the farmer over here that, that it would be great if you would offer the fair board, you know, a hundred acres of your land to see if they'd be willing to, you know, purchase it because they, because they got the room out here to put the, uh, to put the fair out here don't see any geese out here it will turn left here We're going past the plant a little bit, just going to show the exterior of the plant for a couple minutes. But yeah, this is a really nice area. You know, the way this is zoned out here is actually very, very bizarre because it's actually considered union, but I knew, but I know from actually spending a good amount of my youth growing up here that this land is actually really Vandalia Butler Township. I don't know how Union was ever. I don't know how Union was ever. How Vandalia Butler Township ever that Union, you know, get their hands on that land. On that land here. And I know I've heard some stuff on the news that some residents have complained about noise from. The Proctor and Gamble plant, but yeah, there it is right there. Another view from the back is just absolutely gigantic. It probably stretches well over a quarter of a mile long. And at the stop sign, we'll turn left. It's an absolute beautiful morning outside. This is Old Springfield Road and Frederick Pike. For those that want to follow this on, um, on Google Maps, Fields covered, farm fields look like corn or s Yeah, I think that's corn right there. The corn's not came into season yet.
then we'll turn left at the next stop sign I know. Nice homes through here. Yeah, I actually turned left right here. Where? Left right here on Jackson. That'll take us right back to where we were at. Oh, look, look at that. Look at that big old dead raccoon in the middle of the road. Man, they must have just... Don't know if that fire station bought their township, but I was saying YouTube about this land actually being bought their township. That's proof of it right there. I don't know how Vandalia bought their township ever let Union get a hold of the land for Procter and Gamble is beyond me when it's really when it's not in Union. We're gonna show the very end of the plant and we're gonna I'm gonna end this one. Beautiful homes, nice area around the plant. Yep, here's the southwest corner of the plant. This thing is just absolutely humongous. So another, you know, view of the outside of the plant. And for the Kmart workers who are getting laid off, since they're always short of workers, you know, they'll have plenty of opportunities with this place. But yeah, this thing is just absolutely humongous. Then we turn right. Yeah, then there's the, there, then there's the bus stop that actually takes the workers here because there's a lot of temporary workers that come here but anyway YouTube that's gonna be it for this one